This video describes the design, the production, and the testing of some 3D printed face plates for the wood lathe. In a recent video series, I was producing about 20 wood segmented eggs. And I wanted to set these eggs all at the same time, design them and get them all set up, and then turn them all at the same time, just to be more productive. However, I needed about 15 additional face plates for my lathe. Typically, these face plates can cost between you know, 30 and 60 dollars a piece, so to buy an additional 15 plates would be fairly expensive. Since I recently added several 3D printers to my shop, I thought it might be possible to design and print out some new face plates for this project. So as a result, I designed a series of face plates uh, using Fusion 360 software and then printed them out on my uh, 3D printers. And these are some of the resulting face plates. Initially, I was quite concerned about the structural integrity of these face plates. Could they survive the abuse and treatment of actually turning samples on a lathe without shattering or cracking or causing possible damage or injury? So I made some changes to the design of the faceplate, again, to make it as strong as possible. I used the Fusion 360 software to design some unique patterns for these uh, faceplates to make them really strong. And then I made some additional changes in the software for the uh, 3D printers, again, to make a, a faceplate that is strong as possible. So in this video, I'll be describing the design of these faceplates using the Fusion 360 software, the design changes I made to the software to make them as strong as possible, and then actually printing these out using my 3D printer. And I made several sizes of plates, going from a 3.5 inch faceplate up to a 5 inch faceplate. After these faceplates were all turned, I actually did some structural testing on these, doing some drop tests, doing some shatter tests, putting these actually in a, in a vise and hitting them with a hammer to see how strong they would be to see if they could survive some abusive treatment. And then finally I'll be uh, uh, showing the actual turning of some of the segmented eggs using these face plates. This is the basic drawing of the 3.5 inch face plate. The design of the face plate is quite similar to the standard face plate. However, I added six spokes around the hub of the face plate. My assumption is that these spokes would add some additional strength to the face plate. I also included six mounting screw holes between the spokes. The overall diameter of this face plate is 3.5 inches and the total thickness is 1.4 inches. The thread size is for 1 and a quarter by 8 TPI thread, which is a standard thread size on my Powermatic lathe. I designed these face plates using the Fusion 360 software. I began by first drawing the base hub for the face plate. This hub is 2 inches in diameter by 1.4 inches tall. This will be the overall height of the face plate. Next I draw on the 1.3 inch diameter by 0.44 inch deep countersink. This is where the face plate will mount on the lathe headstock. The next step is to add the main mounting plate for the face plate. Depending on the face plate, this diameter will vary between 3.5 inches and 5 inches by 0.6 inches thick. Next, the 1.25 inch diameter by 8 thread per inch threads are added to the hub. Six mounting holes are then added to the main mounting plate. These holes are 0.205 inches in diameter and will be used for mounting. I did have some concerns about the strength of these face plates. I felt that the weakest point in the design would be the junction between the hub and the larger main mounting plate. Therefore, I designed six spokes around this hub to increase the strength of the face plate at this junction between the hub and the main mounting plate. The six spokes are next added around the hub. The purpose of these spokes is to provide for the maximum strength of the face plate, since it will be 3D printed with a plastic resin. As a final step, these spokes are contoured and rounded for appearance. I did need to do some adjustment of the threads to get them to print out properly. Initially, the threads were just too tight, and I had to run a tap through the threads to increase their size. I just left a somewhat rough finish on the threads. I therefore increased the diameter of the threads by 0 0.006 inches to get a nice, clean, smooth running thread with a good surface finish. I also decreased the layer height in the software for the 3D printer as another way of improving the surface finish on the threads. I decided to use PLA Plus film material for the face plates since this is a little bit stronger than standard PLA film material. In setting up the parameters for printing on my Bamboo 3D printer, I made a number of changes to the standard filament slicing program. First, I changed the layer height from 0.2 mm to 0.12 mm. This change was mainly made to provide for better resolution on the printing of the threads on the faceplate. Next, I turned on the ironing command to iron the surfaces 
and set the spacing to 0.05 millimeter. This will provide for a smoother surface on the finished printed out faceplate, as well as a smooth finish on the threads. I increase the strength of my printing by setting the wall loops to 15 layers. This will provide for 15 layers around all outside surfaces for maximum strength. I also set the sparse infill density to 90%. This will provide for a finished faceplate that is totally filled with this plastic resin with no air gaps or spaces between any of the layers. Finally, I lower the printing speed to provide for improved printing of the faceplate. All of these changes increase the printing time to 11 hours for the 3.5 inch diameter faceplate, but this is unattended time but it does limit my productivity to about two face plates per printer per day. This cutaway of the various layers of printing shows the 10 outer layers of the printing and the center sections with no spaces or air gaps throughout the entire face plate assembly. This is a sped up view of the printing of the three and a half inch face plate. The actual printing time for the face plate was 11 hours. This is the final 3D diameter face plate that was produced using the Bamboo 3D printer. The surface finish is quite good and the threads are smooth. This face plate is now ready for testing and use on my lathe. I made an entire series of face plates as shown here. The main diameters that I produced are 3.5 inches, 4 inches, 4.5 inches, and 5 inches. One of my main concerns in developing these face plates uh, with the 3D printed was the structural strength of the face plate. After all, we're putting a plastic face plate on a big, big lathe. Now, how strong can it be? Is it strong enough? Uh, I did have several drop tests. The dropping does nothing to it. It's pretty strong. In fact, this is actually very heavy. It's actually heavier than my aluminum. It's solid plastic. It's pretty, pretty strong. But let me uh, test it on here. I'm going to put the, the lower third in the vise and hit it with a hammer and see what kind of destruction we can cause on it, if any. So I'm going to my vise pretty tight. So I'm taking a standard hammer. And let me hit it a few times here and uh, see what happens. Well, I damaged the surface here, but it did not crack or break. That was one of my concerns, is well, this, could this possibly split or break in the lathe? You know, if you hit it there, you got a snag or something, but uh, that looks to be near indestructible. Other than I dented up the surface here. Let me try it from the back side now, same thing. Gave it a lot of force. So my concerns about the, the structural integrity of this are no problem at all. This is definitely going to survive. It's as good as my aluminum plates. So I'm quite happy with the strength of it. It's not going to shatter or crack on the uh, lathe. These are the 19 segmented eggs that I'll be turning using the new 3D printed face plates. I added and screwed some 3 quarter inch thick wood blocks to the face plates and then used type bond glue to attach the glued up segmented egg assemblies to the face plates. They are now ready for turning. I'm just showing the turning of one of the segmented egg assemblies. This video is sped up about 10 times the actual turning speed and highly edited it to reduce the viewing time. There are three previous YouTube videos demonstrating the design, the assembly, the turning and the finishing of these 19 segmented eggs. Turning the segmented eggs on the lathe normally takes only 15 to 30 minutes per egg. I normally prefer to use this round carbide tool for turning the basic profile of the egg shape. I first turn the top section of the egg with the pointed top surface of the egg on the right side facing the lathe tailstock. I then switch to the pointed carbide tool to shape the base of the egg. I do take care not to cut too deep on the base so as not to cut or break it off. The final cutoff will be done later using the vacuum chuck. I next sand the surface of the egg, starting with 180 grit sandpaper, and then progressively sand with finer sandpapers, ending up with a 600 grit sandpaper to give me a very smooth finished surface. In order to finish the bottom surface of the segmented egg, 
I removed the segmented egg and face plate from the lathe headstock and mounted this assembly on a lathe rotating tailstock. I then used a custom 3D printed vacuum chuck to hold the egg assembly into the headstock to cut off the egg from the face plate and finish the bottom surface of the segmented egg. There will be a separate video showing how I made these 3D printed vacuum chucks for my lathe. I then used my pointed carbide tool to do a final shaping of the base of the egg and then use a parting tool to cut the egg loose from the wood plate on the face plate. The vacuum chuck is now holding the egg firmly in place to enable the final sanding of the segmented egg. The vacuum is turned off to release the egg and this is the finished segmented egg. And these are all 19 of the segmented eggs that I produced using the 3D printed face plates. This concludes this video on the design, the production, and testing of these 3D printed face plates for my lathe. I produced about 20 of these face plates for my lathe. About 12 of them were these 3.5 inch diameter face plates, which is the size I needed for my segmented egg project. But I also made some larger ones. I made a 4 inch, a 4.5, and, and up to a 5 inch uh, face plate. Again, so I have some larger face plates for some future projects. Initially, my concern was about the structural integrity of these face plates. Would they survive the use and abuse on the lathe without shattering or cracking? So I did some uh, destructive testing on them and I found it nearly indestructible. So my concerns about the structural integrity were, were unfounded. There's no issue with these. These will definitely survive use on a lathe. The material cost to print out each of these face plates was less than $10 each. So it definitely was a cost advantage to print these out rather than buying uh, aluminum face plates. This video was designed for individuals who already have a 3D printer in their shop and want to produce their own face plates for their lathe. However, if you don't have a 3D printer in your shop, we will be making some of these face plates available on our website. In addition, we can custom modify face plates if you have a particular need or concern. So just give us a call or drop us an email, and we'll be glad to follow up with you on that. Once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, as always, please give us a call or drop us an email. And thank you for watching.